This is the ultrasound study of a female pelvis. I have placed the probe in the suprapubic region where we are seeing the adequately filled urinary bladder. The patient is aged uh, 40 years, gives a history of a menorrhea of three months and the constant pain in the lower abdomen with the positive pregnancy test. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. This is a rather difficult case. Not too much. Uh, this is the longitudinal the section of the uterus, measuring 8.8 centimeters in an, in length. 4.3 cm in anterior posterior diameter. This is the urinary bladder. And this is the anterior segment of the uterus, posterior segment of the uterus. This is the cervix. This is the vagina. So this is the uterus, myometrium, anterior wall, posterior wall. This is the longitudinal section. Now I am going to rotate the probe 90 degrees to see the transfers of the uterus. Here we are. This is the transfers of the uterus. It measures 6.3 centimeters and more than 5 is taken as uh, enlarged measurement. This is the endometrial canal. Yes ecogenic area in the center of the uterus. This is the endometrial canal which I have encircled now. This one and uh, it uh, measures nineteen millimeters. More than 14 is taken uh, as an uh, abnormal measurement, so this is 19 millimeters. Now, patient uh, denies any manipulation by a doctor or another tree. And I am, as you, you are not provided with uh, the detailed clinical history, gynecological exam or any other uh, lab uh, investigation, I performed the uh, pregnancy test here and it was positive. Now this is the left ovary. Here you see this is a dominant follicle. Meaning This is the dominant follicle in the right, in the left ovary. This is the ovary. And uh, this is the uterus in transverse section, this area. And the central ecogenic area is that of the endometrial canal. Okay. So we have seen the urinary bladder, we have seen the uterus in longitudinal transverse, we have seen the left adenexa, we have seen the left ovary, we have seen the dominant follicle, fine enough. Now let's move towards the right adenexa. As I move towards the right adenexa, I do see a two, I see a cystic area. 
this is the anterior myometrium, this is the fundal region, this is the posterior wall. And you can see that in the posterior wall is not uh, as smooth as the anterior myometrium. See this. The anterior myometrium is and the, uh, the note the echogenicity and thickness of the anterior myometrium that of the fundus, but in this area the echogenicity is absolutely different as compared to the anterior myometrium. So this is the area of damage. The encircled area is the area of damage to the uterus. It has possibly heat with time. Now I am just going to, uh, there, uh, there is little amount of fluid in the pelvic uh, cavity that I showed you, that I showed you. Now I am only going to focus on the uh, echogenic area, which is the bleed. And remember that the rec recent bleed uh, that, is, uh, that is being uh, transformed into a clot with the passage of time will appear as you are seeing in your picture now. Very characteristic appearance. There you will see layers. Now this is these are layers of blood 